This slide concerns the moments of a hypergeometric random variable. The first moment is the population mean, which is mu or the expected value of x. And because the hypergeometric distribution is a discrete distribution, you have a summation here rather than an integral. And that summation will run over the support from x equals 0 up to n of x times f of x where f of x is the probability mass function for the hypergeometric distribution. If you compute this summation, the details are not given here, you get a nice closed form solution that's easy to, easy to uh, write, which is little n times little m divided by capital M. The population variance is sigma squared, also can be written as v of x, whether you use the defining formula or the shortcut formula, in either case, you get this expression right here. Again, closed form, but you can see quite large this time. If you then look at the third and fourth moments, the population skewness and the population kurtosis turn out to be horrific uh, expressions. Very, very large. They are closed form, but uh, very difficult to uh, write here, and they've been left out. Here is a thought experiment. Let's say, for example, we choose n to be large. Think of that in terms of the urn model as you've got a very, very large urn that contains, say, millions of balls. Some of them are successes and some are failures. Well, if the urn is that large, it's really not so relevant if you sample with replacement or if you sample without replacement. The larger the urn is, the less of a difference that makes. Well, because of that, if you let p be m divided by n, that m divided by n there will be the fraction of successes in the urn. And if you go to the binomial distribution, which corresponds to sampling with replacement, you know that the expected number of successes would be NP. So notice what we have up here in the hypergeometric distribution. We basically get N multiplied by M over N, but we know that M over N is P. So in this particular case, you can see when N is large, the hypergeometric and the binomial distributions will be very close. If you look in the book, there is a similar line of reasoning for n large that is associated with the variance sigma squared. As alluded to earlier, there are applications here and specifically acceptance sampling and quality control. The hypergeometric distribution comes up quite frequently.